Hi, you're watching a tractortips.com tutorial. In a previous tutorial, I showed you uh, how I have my um, music and root directory structured and how I've put it in here, a uh, music folder, a tractor folder, and it's all grouped together. One other reason why I have it grouped this way is that I can easily share between two computers. Tractor allows two licenses. Um, they let you put um, put Tractor on two computers so long as they're not in use at the same time, which is great as uh, I have them on my desktop and also on my laptop for when I go out and DJ. So what I do um, to make this easy to transfer stuff is I have on my desktop, which is this side here, uh, I've got this set up here with all my genres, which is all the music that I use to play out, uh, and the root directory here. And this is any recordings that I might make as well. So what I've done on my, uh, I've connected my desktop to my uh, laptop via an Ethernet cable. It could also happen wirelessly if you wanted it to, but it's uh, if you've got large volumes, it's going to be way quicker if you connect it, uh, connect them together with an Ethernet cable. So I connected them together and uh, I copied uh, the entire structure across into my laptop. Um, this uh, obviously enables you to play the same, exactly the same setup on the laptop. The only thing that's different is the actual home folder name. Um, so you need to make sure um, that you change that. So I'll show you how that works. Um, so when you add new music um, to the genres selection here, this is currently on the laptop. My laptop is more up to date at the moment than the desktop. So as you can see in these music folders uh, here, this is my latest addition um, to the music folders. You can see on the desktop um, that that folder is not there at the moment. Okay, so the latest is 10.10 and not uh, 10.11. So what we need to do to make sure that everything is going to read the same is we want to copy this folder over into the desktop or if the desktop's more uh, more up to date, then drag it from the desktop into um, the laptop. Now, the reason I have these files, as I mentioned in a previous tutorial, um, this is the day I bought the, uh, bought the music. Um, so it's very simple if you use that method to see which tracks you bought when and to make the transfer as easy as possible. If you've got music split amongst different genres, then it's actually really hard to know which ones uh, you've brought in. Um, there are ways to do it with inside uh, the Mac um, smart folders, but uh, this is the simplest way uh, for now. So we want to copy the music across. So I'm going to throw this, drag it from the des uh, the laptop into the desktop, and that will copy across. Um, that's not all we need to do. We also need to go to the root directory here, and this collection NML is basically all the details um, that enable us to see what's going on inside the tractor collection. So we want to drag that across into the root directory as well. Now, there's already one exists here. Um, it's going to be an older one than the previous, so when we go to let go, uh, it says do you want to replace? Yes you do. So that's pretty much everything done. Um, they're all, all in there. So when we open Tractor now, I can get rid of my uh, my laptop there and uh, when I open Tractor right now, um, let's see what happens. So let's check in the consistency report and as you see all these have exclamation marks and all the tracks are missing. So basically what happened is because uh, my uh, my laptop um, has uh, a, a whole different uh, root directory, when I copied all the tracks over it's changed the root uh, directory to the one on my computer here. Um, so it thinks it's looking in my MacBook Pro directory instead of the desktop directory. So it's a very simple fix. Um, we just click missing tracks, we click relocate, and it's already picked the, jo the genres uh, inside here. We'll just double check it's the right one. Into music, into tractor, into genres, click choose, and it'll relocate all the files. 
So every time you do a, a change over like that, it will uh, be missing the files. It's no big deal. It's just the main root directory of your uh, of all your tracks. Okay, and that's just one track I haven't got anymore, so not to worry about that one. So that's all in there. Everything's good to go. Everything will be exactly the same um, as the the laptop. And as you can see, these are the tracks I bought in November, and uh, it was the November collection that I moved across into into here. So it's exactly the same. Hopefully that's uh, spread a little bit of light there for you. Thanks for listening.